All right, welcome to Video Guys Live, special version today, EduStream TV. What is EduStream TV, you ask? It's a special series we are doing specifically focused on live streaming and education. It, we're doing it through a special sign up on www.crowdcast.io slash e slash edustream tv and we're going to put that direct link in our comments right now on both facebook and youtube to make it a little easier for you looking on so what is it it's actually a three-part show today's show is a kickoff for the edustream that i'm doing as part of my video guys live show but then following this show uh today and on the 10th and on the 15th we're going to have special shows dedicated to the use of video technology for streaming so to, uh, on today, we're looking at uh, live production in schools yesterday, today, and tomorrow. On the 10th, we're going to be doing sports production in schools and our tips for success. On the 15th, PTC cameras, multi-camera control, and auto tracking. So it's a, it's a three-day, three-part series. You sign up at crowdcast.io slash e slash edustream, and you get access to all the shows. And in addition to doing those shows, we'll have some interactivity that's offered for you there. Do you have to be an educator to participate in the stream? Absolutely not, but we're really gonna focus on how our products are used in the vertical of education, which includes K-12, middle school, high school, as well as college, university, and that could be for a local college, it could be for a community college, it could be for a private D1 or a D2 or D, a D2, D3 school, or it could even be you know, a big school if you're Ohio State or Penn State or UCLA. You know, if, you've, if you're using video, or you want to use more video, this show is for you. What do I have on the tabletop to show you? Two cornerstones to do really high quality interactive video streaming with all kinds of bells and whistles, and that is the Wirecast Gear and the new Tech TriCaster Mini. Both products that are affordable products for under $10,000 that can get you started on high quality video productions that include multiple cameras, graphics, and things that you see. Just for a little heads up, our show today is being produced on a new Tech TriCaster in our virtual studio that we have here at our place of video guys. But one of the things that I want to go into now is what can you do with the show? Well, you can register for a chance to win some great prizes. At the end of today's show, we're going to offer three prizes, a Wirecast Pro license, an Epifan AVI OHD, and the new Tech TriCaster training and certification. Now, that's a real important thing for those of you out there because not only can you become to learn more as a TriCaster operator. You can actually be a certified TriCaster operator, which is a valuable tool for you or your students to participate in. So definitely want to give a hard look at that. And I just realized we have one other device on the table behind me over here, and that's the Epifan Pearl Mini, an excellent device that we're going to go into. We're not really going to focus on products on today's show or more educational solutions that we have, problems, and more, more importantly, where education has been for live streaming throughout the past few years. So let me introduce myself. My name is Gary Batan. I am the president of Video Guys, but I'm also a trustee of the Board of Education of the Plainview Old Bethpage New York School District. I've been doing this since 2007 with a little break in between there. I understand I'm very, very active in technology, obviously, in our district and bringing technology into our district, supporting technology and expenditures on technology. And one of the things I want to stress is, is for those of you in the public sector of education, there is a lot of federal money still available for you to get into your budgets for grants and federal money for live streaming and you bringing video as a tool for remote learning, for hybrid learning. The money's out there on the federal level, so go get it. Also, uh, I wanted to stress that well, Video Guys is a mail order company, and you're welcome to call us on our 800 number, and we'll talk to you about all the products we sell, and we'll review any of the things you've seen or heard from the EduStream series. We also have a network of dealers throughout the country who are affiliated, friendly dealers, who if you want a dealer who can come in, actually install, commission, and train your people on how to use any technology you see on today's show, give us a call. We'll hook you up with one of those local dealers. So however complex your live video production workflow is, we can help you with video guys, and we have dealers who can fill in if you need more local support. One of the things that's been kind of a, a guiding mission for me and, and, and in looking at live streaming is that live streaming technology is something we started investing heavily in promoting and selling and using ourselves going back to 2015-16. We realized it was an important thing, and 
when we moved to our new location, we put the studio in there, and we've had this live studio that we've been producing shows from since 2017. But what happened in 2020 with the pandemic was we all got forced to do live video streaming. But our classrooms were show closed, House of Worship Corp, for whatever reason, we didn't have much of a choice. We just had to get started and make things work. And in 2020, we did. Last year in 2021, what did we do for schools? We made our videos look better, work better, and easier to do, which meant that we were making progress. We were getting to the next level. Well, what's happening this year? We think in 2022, we're really making the big jump towards making all these videos more engaging, collaborative, and powerful. And I'm going to talk a lot about that over the course of the EduStream, as will our EduStream guests who are coming in over the show. They're not going to talk about their products. They're going to talk to you about how these products are being used and how they're enhanced, they've gotten better over time. Now, one of the things I'm really excited about, and it's going to be on our show on the 10th, that's really come a long way, is auto tracking software. We're going to get into that, but it's a great example of how things are getting collaborative, powerful, and more engaging. Why? Because now we can set up a PTZ camera that could actually follow me if I was moving around in a lecture center, uh, or if I was a teacher uh, in a classroom, it could follow me while I was moving around so I didn't have to just stand still. Now, we don't have that set up now for today's show because that's not what it's about, but I want to give an example of something that we feel makes it more powerful. I'm catching my breath because I tend to talk fast, and I think I've been talking a little fast, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I can see my production team nodding like, good call. We, we changed the layout of, this, uh, of our, our studio a little bit because usually these guys are facing me, so someone would be giving me the slow it down sign, but because I'm sitting there back, I had to catch on it to myself, but it's definitely something that's happening. So the other thing I wanted to talk about was William Shakespeare. Biggest challenge facing schools today is creating video content that tells a story. We can throw video up there and videotape anything we're doing, but that doesn't make it engaging. It doesn't make it really something that's going to captivate our audience and work. And I think one of the reasons that I like to refer to old William Shakespeare is very simple, and that is, is a lot of us forget that William Shakespeare, greatest writer of all time, wasn't writing books. He was writing plays. He was writing entertainment. He was writing things that would engage his audience, and through that engagement, he would try to tell some stories that had a little bit more meaning to him. We've all spent a lot of our careers in high school and college learning about Shakespeare and his stuff. But the reason I bring it up, why it's so important is, is he wasn't writing books, folks. He was communicating with people with what was a very engaging way to communicate with the people at the time, which was plays. And people say if Shakespeare was born today, what would he be doing today? And I think he'd be on Netflix or maybe Amazon Prime producing a really great series that we were watching and binge watching constantly. And he'd probably be producing two or three of them a year. But just wanted to work that in there a little bit. All right, so what's EduStream really about? It's about expanding production capabilities to more classrooms, departments, and events throughout the school. Now, we want to bring up this slide for a reason because a lot of people know, we all know that, you know, video has been in the AV, the theater, the arts department, and, you know, we're all using that stuff there. But there's so many other areas where video has become not just prevalent, but important. So I want to go down a list of some things so you can understand how video can be used. Very important for business and marketing courses. And a lot of schools have uh, business competitions, marketing competitions, where the students present business plans to one another. And video is a great way for them to be able to do that, not just to produce it beyond the classroom with people in the classroom to a broader audience, but actually to compete or share with other schools and other uh, uh, universities, what have you, in business departments, you know, to show what's going on. And let's face it. What I like to tell people is, is if you're not using live video in, as part of your marketing plan as a business, then you don't have a marketing plan that's worth a damn. If video is an integral part of, uh, of marketing now, it's part of branding, it's visual, it gets the story told, and if you're not using video to tell your story, then you're not marketing correctly. So if you're a college or a university or a high school that teaches marketing, there should be a video component to that curriculum. Also, science labs and research. Same thing, if you're doing science experiments, videotape them, more people can get in a feel for what, how it's being done right or wrong, and research projects as well, and research competitions, and researching collaboratively and working with people who may be in a lab that you're in Tennessee, they're in Texas, another person's in Arizona, someone else is in Spain, and you're all working on the project. Video is a way that you can collaborate 
and share what you're doing with each other. Athletic departments, it's a no-brainer. We've all been watching live sports on TV, but one of the things that a lot of people who we're talking to are, are now using, using it for is, is it's not just the biggest sport. Any sport can now be live streamed. It's a way to build engagement with your community. It's a way, way to build additional support if you're looking for alumni support and donations if you're a university. If you're a high school, it's a way to build a bond with your community. And also, it's a great way for you to position your athletes for the next level is. So if you're a high school team, live video is a way to get more exposure for your star quarterback, point guard, or volleyball player. And the same thing is in college if the kids are trying to pursue something to the next level as well. So not only is sports and athletics important, uh, an important thing to need video for, but it also video could be a tool that could really let you emphasize your star players and give them additional opportunities. If you've got a communications and a journalism classes, either in your high school or more importantly, in your college or university, you've got to be using video. Video is basically how we communicate. Mass communication is done now today. <laughs> I apologize. Adam pointed out to me that my lip is bleeding. That's because I have a cold sore. Sorry, happens sometimes. Got over a cold, got a cold sore. But I'm not bleeding as much, so it's not this big red line tripping on me. So I apologize to those people who saw that, but I have it done. So let's go back. Communications and journalism. If you're teaching journalism classes, if you're teaching communication classes, you should have a video studio as part of your curriculum working in it. And you should be using video as the tools that your students are using every day to learn their craft, to learn about that subject. And then one of the most important things that video can do is it can build bonds with your community. By live streaming programs from your school, whether you're a high school, middle school, college, university, private school, parochial school, doesn't matter. When you do live streams of events that are going on, of news of the day, of highlights of what's happening in your school, it's a way for you to build a stronger home school bond the more, the more involved your community is with your school, the better it is for you, the more it's going to help you. It's going to help you when you need money. It's going to help you attract the best talent. It's going to help you establish the value of what you're doing, which is educating, which we know is one of the most important things in the world. And using video to educate is a great thing. No replacement for teaching. None of these things on the list over here are to replace teachers. They're tools teachers can use, and they're things that teachers can teach kids about to use in order to enhance what they're learning in those subject areas. All right, so what are the key technologies we want to focus on today? Well, if you're familiar with the Video Guys show, then you know the first one on the list, and that's NDI technology. NDI technology is a way that using a single Ethernet cable and switches, stuff that exists in every building, corporate and school that's out there, that's a way to connect everything on a video level. We're also going to talk about integrated Integration with lecture management systems. That's real important if you're a, a college where you're going to put a video cameras into 10, 12, 20, 50, 100 classrooms or lecture centers. And then following, we're going to talk a little bit more about PTC cameras and auto tracking, which I talked about a little bit in the beginning of the show. We're going to get more of it in depth. So I love this sidebar that you just brought in. So I just want everyone to take a few seconds. That's the schedule that's coming up over the rest of the shows on the 10th and the 15th, which you can expect. And once again, I want to plug that if you're watching our show, Video Guys Live, this is the show that's open to the public. We, we're showing it live on Facebook and YouTube. But if you want to get into the edu stream, the additional content that we're going to have available, that's www.crowdcast.io slash e slash edu stream TV. And once again, we're going to have live guests from all these vendors on really giving you some more in-depth insight into their products and how they're being used for education. Let's jump into one of my favorite topics. And we can bring this slide up full screen for a little bit. What is NDI? NDI is a network-based technology developed by NewTek that is now an industry standard, which is basically replacing the baseband cabling we used to use all the time. Many of you are familiar with baseband cabling. It's HDMI, it's SDI, it's running cables where every device runs to every device through some kind of router that routes everything to each other. And you need multiple cables going all over the place, miles of cables. You have to pre-think where every jack's going to be. A lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of expense. What NDI gives you is a two-way communication system that allows you to take video signals and pass them over standard giggy Ethernet 
that we have in our buildings already, that we have in our classrooms already, that we have in our corporations and even our churches, and lets the video get passed through it, but even more important, it lets other stuff come back to the video camera, things like PTZ control, comms, uh, I'm drawing a blank. What's it called when I see the green dot, Adam? Tally. What? Tally. Tally. Thank you very much. Tally as well. You know, so it's a two-way communication system that also allows you to adjust the cameras. Right now, Adam could be remotely adjusting the camera, the color, the color settings on the camera that the PTZ camera is looking at before. It's a completely integrated system off a single cabling that's so easy. What I must stress is that if you're going to go with NDI, Video guys, tech tip number one of the show, don't even have a lower third for this, that is, you got to get the right switch. The right switch is a Netgear switch. We'll do more on that in the future, but there are great switches to use. And if you get the right switch, NDI works so much better. What are some of the advantages of NDI? Well, it increases your production's capabilities and flexibility and sources. So once again, what, what needs to be explained is every device that's an NDI device on your network can see and talk to each other. So, example, a TriCast or WireCast gear that's NDI, as an NDI switcher, it could talk to any camera, any converter, any switch that was NDI aware on the network. That's very powerful because it lets everything see everything and lets you control everything. It opens up a world of flexibility for you and you can expand and grow as needed, and that expansion could be adding more cameras easily into the studio you're in, or bringing in cameras that are in other locations throughout your place. So let's say you're a small college or university. You can have a production room where you do your switching that could be in the media center or in the communications area of the school, but you could have PTZ and other cameras through converters on an athletic field, on a stage, anywhere on your network, bring it in via NDI and switch the whole show as if you were sitting in the same room. It's really incredible and powerful technology. And if you want to learn more about NDI, we have some great videos that you can see that are on our YouTube and on our blog. And also, you can always call us at 800-323-2325 to learn more. And there'll be a lot of talk about NDI on the EduStream programming if you go to EduStream and sign up for the extra shows that'll be this afternoon, Thursday, and next Tuesday. One of the other things that's super cool about NDI is that the conferencing software, specifically Zoom and Teams, now support NDI. So that means you can have people on a Teams call or a Zoom call come into your production system, Wirecast gear or a TriCaster, or you can feed Wirecaster or TriCaster into your Zoom or Teams meeting. Now, we're all getting Zoom fatigue. We're getting Teams to death. We understand that those discussions were... We'll, we'll, we'll be happy to have a lot of them end as we come out of this pandemic and do more and more things face to face. But I think we're always gonna have a model that's involved where there's always some people who are there and some people who can't be there. And that's where these hybrid video conferencing really comes into play. And I think in schools, you're gonna see that that's something that you're gonna need that's gonna expand your flexibility. Oh, uh, you know, in a public school, maybe you got a, a child who's home who, who can't come to school, got hurt, it's a way to bring them into the classroom for that. For a college or a campus like that, where you're a university system, it's a great way you, where you can bring in a guest lecturer who you don't have to have the expense of actually flying them in and have them stay at your university. You can bring them in remotely using Teams or Zoom. There's so many things you can do now as a way to communicate with each other that just opens up such a window of opportunity where really we're no longer limited to geography. We can really communicate with each other wherever each other is, but it should be used in addition to face-to-face, -face, not instead of face-to-face -face contact. All right, so let's talk about some NDI production systems for advanced multimedia productions, LMS integration, and more. So this first slide is a basic example of a really great, I'm not gonna call this a star system, this is an advanced system using the TriCaster Mini with some NDI cameras and some Spark Plus converters which would have standard HDMI cameras feeding them to come in to produce, produce a show. I can also bring in video from Android phones. I can bring in text and slides like I'm doing right here. And the TriCaster Mini can do all that switching. This is a really great thing to be able to do if you're looking to put in a studio or a media lab in your high school or your, or, or your university or your college. And we can help you spec that whole thing out. And there's different levels that you can do with it. This Mini is a great way to get started. You might want a more elaborate system where you're going to go with the TriCaster 
TC1. The TC1 is a more powerful TriCast. It has more powerful I.O. It'll accept a, a larger control surface. You can get much more units controlled from it. Up to 16 different NDI devices can be controlled and used with the TriCaster Pro. And like I said, a TC1, we use a TC1 to produce our show. So what you're seeing here with me being on a virtual set with lower thirds that come in with the Video Guys logo over there with it, what we're looking at right over here on the screen is actually a PowerPoint coming in. That's all coming in using NDI on an NDI workflow into our TriCaster TC1. So I bring that up because we're using the stuff we talk about to produce the shows to talk to you about the stuff we sell. So we know it, we're here to help you, and we really want you to know that if you sign up for the EduStream, you just get more in-depth interviews and meet and chances to hear more from people from like experts from New Tech or some of our other vendors like Wirecast and, and others. So at USC Medical, they actually used NDI during the pandemic in order to allow multiple rooms throughout the uh, facility, throughout the school, to communicate with each other and transfer from. So we've got a video we're going to play now, right, Adam? Mm -hmm. And this video speaks for itself, so I'll just have you listen to it and watch it. Hi, my name's Gary San Angel. I'm a distance education operations specialist. So this little guy and a small little rig and tripod uh, will record uh, without anybody there. And I am um, here at my control room. Um, doing the recording, so um, it's amazing, all through the internet, all through NDI. You gotta have a static IP to make this uh, work so it doesn't fall off the network. And two, uh, through the help of PTZ Optics and, uh, and also uh, through the New Tech um, Access Manager, we were able to get this working for four days straight. Um, wow. so, so that's really exciting and really good news for us. So where can all this technology go? What I want to talk a little bit now is where NDI has gotten to the next level, and that is with NDI 5, the product that's called the NDI Bridge. The NDI Bridge would actually allow me to connect, let's say, two studios. We have our studio here. Let's say there was another studio in Texas. We could connect those two studios together by running a computer in each studio that was running the bridge, and what that would allow was Adam would be able to not only share everything that was going on here with the Texas studio, he'd be actually use all the inputs and all the devices in the Texas studio for our show and vice versa. So think about this if you're a university system or a high school, uh, school district's got say two high schools or a couple uh, that each have media labs. You could now have the kids from the two high schools collaborating to produce a show across the internet together where they can be guests on their own shows while, while, while talking to each other as if they were in the same room. Why is that important? Because that's where the world is going today. That's what the future is. For those of us who watched the Olympics, these past Winter Olympics from China, what a lot of people don't realize is almost none of the announcers and none of the actual TV studios were in China. They were all in the local countries of the countries who were producing them, and they was all being done with remote production tools that are out there. NDI Bridge is just another tool that you can use to work remotely with other people who also have NDI workflows in their studios together. And it just means that you can link two schools together, two school districts together, whatever you want to do. Very exciting technology. If you'd like to learn more about NDI Bridge, I believe Alex will be talking about it a little bit later in his segment from New Tech. One of the things that's happened over the last three years with the pandemic is we've gotten PTC cameras in classrooms and lecture centers throughout universities and colleges. And with all those video cameras, if you've got 10 or 20 or 50 lecture centers that have cameras in them, you got to manage that video. You got to manage those cameras and you have to manage the content they're producing. And that's where a lecture management system comes into play. Now, we don't sell lecture management systems, but we want to bring this up because if you're using any of these lecture management systems, Kaltura, Panopto, or Yuja, we have hardware that can help you work with them. And the hardware, quite frankly, to me, that works great with that is the Epifan Pearl, Pearl Mini, and Pearl Nano. But the key to this is you can set up your lectures to auto run so you know that the professor comes into the classroom at 4 o'clock, so at 3.55 you start recording, you know he's done at 4.45, so at 
450, you stop recording, easy enough. You can schedule it to record or to live stream. He can have access to the playback library as well as the videos that are produced from that show instantly become available to the students to watch. And there's also a level of interactivity. So this is a video about Panopto. We are not promoting Panopto, Kaltura, or Yuja over each other. All these lecture management systems are really cool, but if you're into education at a collegiate level and you're really your, your university or your college system is really bought into video, you need to manage that content. And these are great choices. So let's learn a little bit more about Panopto from this video clip. Simply launch the app, click record, and Panopto will capture your video, the content of your screen, and any additional video sources that you choose. Live streaming is easy too. Just click the webcast checkbox when you set up your recording, and in minutes you can be broadcasting live over the web. When you're finished, Panopto automatically uploads the video to your portal. Panopto syncs your video and on-screen content, generates a table of contents with thumbnails, and indexes your video for search. So basically, the more classrooms and departments you have that are using video, the more important it becomes to manage, organize, and archive the content. One of the things we want to do now is go into some tips and tricks. You know, it's my show, and I get to do some stuff that's fun, that's important to me. So I wanted to put a slide together that was, you know, what are, what are the top ways to repurpose your videos? Because, like, we're doing our show today, and you'll watch this show live, but we will also make one, two, or three, one-minute, 30-second, two-minute clips, whatever it is, to get key content points out there. So let's talk about how the workflow is produce a live show and then create content that you can then have available for on-demand. So obvious advantage for a school is to create video study guides for kids where they could be aimed at how they're going to study and learn. Sports highlight videos to promote student athletes in your team, another great way to go. Science labs and research that's going on, super easy. Special events, performances, and shows available to students and families. And of course, video yearbooks, montages, and other community outreach. What we wanted to talk about as you produce your video, maybe your show was an hour, an hour and a half long. It doesn't mean you can have one minute, two minute, or five minute snippets that are produced out there in this area is to get more out of that video. Okay, Tuesday, the 315 show will be dedicated to demos and to examples of PTZ cameras and auto tracking. Auto tracking is a tremendous new feature that while it was around a year ago has really exploded this year and we've got multiple levels of auto tracking that are all great depending on what you're doing and the motions you want to capture. But we're going to go over what cameras have it available, what you can add to certain cameras, do you get a dedicated auto tracking camera, and then there's also software that can take your auto tracking to a whole nother level using AI and things like that. So going to be an exciting show on 315 about auto tracking. And once again, I think it's super cool. I'm used to standing still in front of this podium, but if we had a bigger stage and a bigger lecture center, I'd be bouncing, walking all over the place. And it would be a lot of, I would want an auto tracking camera or a live camera person. But you know, next best thing to being there, auto tracking cameras. All right, that wraps up my show and my segment today, EduStream TV. Now, for those of you who want to stick around and see the rest of the EduStream, it's not too late. You can still go to the EduStream website, and you can, lo you can log in to the URL that we're about to put up on the bottom third, and you can go to that, you can go there, and you can see the rest of the shows. It's not too late to sign up, and that's going to be live production and streaming for schools. We're going to, today is going to be an overview. Jim's going to be coming on soon, but you go to www.crowdcast.io slash e slash EduStream TV sign up. We're going to be doing some giveaways. We're going to have other cool stuff going on, and we look forward to seeing you there. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to just walk away now and let the next guy come on to take over the show. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Very cool. So what I'm going to say is let's bring this next slide up on what's coming up for the day. Let's bring it up full screen. I'll get rid of my mic, and we'll let the next guy come on to the show. Thank you very much. Video Guys Live, and now we're taking it over to the EduStream portion of our show. Attention educators, register now for EduStream TV. Registration gets you access to all three days with more than half a dozen live demos, including the live production from New Tech, Telestream, and Epifan, auto-tracking cameras from PTZ Optics, Bird Dog, and MRMC, and sports solutions.